Good morning, everyone. My name is Xiu Yisui, and I'm from Harbin Institute of Technology. The title of my paper is Deep Learning Aided Norma Combining Different Norma Schemes. This paper it includes five parts. The first part is introduction. As one of the most important and key technologies, multiple access has always been a focus of mobile communication. With the number of users increasing rapidly, non-orthogonal multiple access becomes an inevitable choice. Although it has higher computational complexity compared with OMA, it improves the spectrum efficiency greatly. As CMA evolved from low density signature, this scheme uses codebooks to complete spreading and constellation mapping. Signals from multiple users are overlaid on the same time frequency resources sparsely. At the receiver, message passing algorithm is the most commonly used decoding algorithm. Codebook design is a key problem and has a strong influence on the performance of SCMA. So a basic codebook design method using lattice rotation technique is proposed. According to the lattice theory, SCMA receiver achieves better performance in higher dimensions. Power domain norma distinguishes data of different users by allocating different transmitting power. Compared to OMA, the spectral efficiency of power domain norma can be improved by 30%. The optimal power allocation under different conditions and constraints has been started by many researchers. MUSA uses complex sequences as spreading sequences. Each user chooses a spreading sequence and carry out spreading. The choice of spreading sequences and the algorithm used at the receiver have great impact on the performance of MUSA scheme. In recent years, deep learning has developed rapidly and its application in the physical layers has become more and more widespread. A belief propagation algorithm based on deep learning aiming to decode high density par parity check, parity check code was proposed. A DNN based encoder and decoder was used in SCMA and this encoder is able to generate codebooks aut automatically. The key to all normal schemes is serving multiple users in the same time frequency resources. Thus, in this paper, a normal DNN normal model is proposed, which is a generalized normal model. Multiple normal schemes can be regarded as special cases of it. They can be implemented by adjusting the parameters in the DNN or simply changing the network structure. The simulation shows that the proposed DNN normal model performs better than other normal schemes. The second part is about system model and DNN normal structure. Assume that the signals of J users is transmitted to the receiver through KORs in normal schemes set K greater than J so that non-orthogonal resources allocation is inevitable. The user overload rate is defined as OR equals to K divided by, two, by G. More than one user's data is transmitted simultaneously on each resources. The received signal can be ex expressed as below. In power domain, in power domain norma, the vector xj usually contains only one non-zero element, which means each user only transmits signals on one resources. In SCMA, xg is a sparse vector containing zero elements. xkj equals to zero means the jth user does not transmit signals on the kth resources. In 
We use that each user transmits signals on all resources, so there is no zero element in XJ. Moreover, PG is transmits power allocated to the GF user. PG is one in SCMA and MUSA because these two schemes are usually implemented without power allocation. <coughs> we build DNN encoder and decoder at the transmitter and receiver respectively. The input of the encoder is the data from users, which is battery. The encoder consists of a few DNN units and each DNN unit serves one user. The output of the encoder is the modulated signals which can be used to transmit on the channel. Then the signals reach the receiver through the channel and binary data reconstructed in the decoder. F and G are used to denote the encoder and decoder respectively. Suppose that R represents user's data and R represents the reconstructed data after encoding and decoding. By minimizing the Euclidean distance between them, the network parameters can be optimized. The structure of DNN norma is shown in this picture. Data from users are encoded in the decoder and transmit on the orthogonal resources, and the decoder reconstructs them according to the received signal. The structure of DNN encoder is shown in this figure. This encoder consists of multiple DNN units, and each DNN unit is connected to a user. User data is encoded by the DNN unit connected to it. Hence, the number of DNN units equals to the number of users. Each DNN unit is connected to all ORs in this scheme, so the users can choose the ORs they use and find the best scheme during training. The structure of each DNN unit is depicted, depicted in this figure. Each DNN unit is composed of many fully connected layers. There are I input nodes because the encoder is memory. The number of hidden layers is four and each hidden layer consists of 32 nodes. Since DNN cannot calculate complex number, we split the real and imaginary parts of the signal. Thus, there are two plus key output nodes in the output layer. Each part corresponds to one node in the output layer of the unit. Then, the received signal can be written. In some normal schemes, each user may transmit signals on more than one OR, and the signals of different users are multiplexed over orthogonal resources. Hence, we decoding the signal of a certain user. The signals of the users which use the same ORs will affect the decoding result. In order to combine the information scattered on all resources, we use a fully connected network as decoder. The structure is shown in this figure. The input layer is connected to all ORs. The input of the decoder is the received signal and the output represents the decoding results. The result of each user is represented by the value of M output nodes. There are four hidden layers and each hidden layer has 64 neural nodes in the decoder. Obviously, it is difficult to express the principle of optimal cookbook design. So we train the network by minimizing the BER. The encoder and decoder are regarded as one network when training. We use randomly generated binary data stream as training set and test set. The training process of the network can be regarded as an optimization process according to the least square. Then the loss function can be defined. A 
According to the loss function, we use mini batch grading descent algorithm to update the parameters. The update process can be expressed. The results of proposed DNN norma and conventional SCMA are shown in this figure. The number of users and number of orthogonal resources are 6 and 4 in the simulation respectively. According to the figure, the proposed DNN norma scheme significantly outperforms the conventional SCMA. The main reason for the better performance of DNN norma are summarized as follows. First, unlike SCMA, in DNN norma scheme, the orthogonal resources used by each user is not fixed. They are automatically determined in the process of training. Secondly, in SCMA, the performance heavily depends on the code books. In MUSA, it depends on the spreading code in the proposed DNN norma scheme. If the number of hidden layers and nodes of the neural network is, is sufficient, the best codebook and transmitted signal can be obtained theoretically. The result of DNN norma with different number of users and ORs are shown in this figure. According to the figure, the performance of DNN norma improves with the increase of the number of users and hoodbook dimensions. This phenomenon is similar to SCMA. In this paper, we proposed a DNN norma scheme and three norma schemes. Can be regarded as special cases of it. In this scheme, user data can be automatically encoded and decoded. The simulation results show that the DNN norma scheme can achieve better BER performance than, the, than other normal schemes. Thank you for listening.